I'm here, live, local, and late breaking. I just want y'all to know that I was sitting in this very chair on last evening. And all of these crazy thoughts ran across my mind. And I started saying to myself, you've been complaining a lot about being at home, not having your car anymore. I need to go to the supermarket. I'm complaining about me not working, waiting on social security disability to tell me whether they're gonna approve me or not. God told me right here in this very chair, you're already approved by me. You keep looking for people to validate who you are. You did it when you were working. You know, I started thinking about all the days that I put in, all the hours of my life that I spent commuting to a job who when they got tired of me, because to me, they did something that offended me by injury. You reported to them and you were so obligated to them. This is what God is saying to me. That you gave them 40 plus hours of your life and you did it like clockwork. You might have complained. But you knew that if you didn't go, that you wasn't going to eat. And I know the word of God says that a man who is unwilling to work will not eat. I was willing. So I needed to go. I wanted to go. But when I think about all of the things that I felt that was a form of disdain, I had to tell God, thank you. In that very moment, sitting right here in this chair, because all of the things that I did have, they were a form of happiness. It was not the total sum of what makes me caramel. So I started saying, look at all of the freedom that I have being able to sit here. In my nice home is peaceful. <laughs> Nobody but me and God. The hours that my husband spends at work trying to provide. That's because God is the blesser. And he's allowing my husband to be the blessing, the provision. And I'm sitting here complaining. Oh, I don't have a car. I'm tired of being in the house. That's because my flesh got used to being a busybody. God said, it's time to sit down, take a rest, be still so you can hear from me. Because I'm going to tell you, all of the things that I started to hear uh, as a result of letting loose, letting myself be free, having the freedom to wake up when I want to, eat when I want to, and not be controlled by an employer Somebody telling me when I can take vacation, how many days are on the schedule. Oh, last year, such and such got this holiday. And this year, you got to hope that you can beat them to it or you're going to be without that holiday again. I got tired of that. So now I can be off all day. I ain't got to report to nobody. And if I'm talking to you, I know you get it because I got tired. When I tell y'all I was so, so delusional trying to please, man, I forgot how to serve myself based on the things of God. When he tells us that he will give us life and life more abundantly, I'm not sleeping on that anymore. And I hope that you don't either. I always say, if this message resonates with you, leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Because I'm going to tell you, 
While I do understand it is important for us to work, I'd much rather work for God and allow him to exalt me in this land than me thinking going out working for somebody else is going to create the life that I want. That life is only the illusion. I want the real true life that God says I can have. And I hope you do too. I'm Caramel. It's nice to meet you. I'll see you in the next video.